Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of the Apollo program lander. Apollo program lander. Okay, well, let's make this thing look pretty. Really, really pretty. I mean, NASA knew what it was doing back then, right? So why does this thing look all clunky? My guess is they had to cut weight where they could. So basically, this is like the bare minimum. The bare absolute minimum. Yes, they could have made it look pretty, they could have made it circular, they could have given it, you know, whatever. But because they were worried about weight, they literally stripped it down to all of its components and then just covered that up. It makes sense, right? All right, let's take these away. Because last time in the uh, because last time in the first video, um, it crashed on us for some reason when we used the flags. All right, so then we'll actually do this. Set flag as the tarp texture. Make that bigger. I'm not sure how far down that was. Let me look at my picture real quick. Oh, okay. Apparently it was all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to take a wild gander and say that all of this, all this, all this black tarp, this blast shield. I don't know if it's called the blast shield or not. I'm just saying that is due to the RCS system. So if it puffed down, it not only hit the blast shield first, but whatever residue was left over would hit this, and I'm guessing high temp or high impact or whatever tarp that protected the actual spacecraft. That's what I'm guessing the dark patches were. Unfortunately, I do not have enough time to look it up, but it makes sense, right? It does make sense. Let's make these darker. I do. Uh, no, not round. Traction. There we go. Yeah. Extreme grip. There we go. Oh, much nicer. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, that is... That is looking nice. Of course, these parts up here were actually gold. It was only the darker bits next to the RCS that was put in that black tarp. See, doesn't that look so much nicer? With the black tarp texture on it. Just a quick little Google search. The image itself is like real pixelated. But, uh, hey, what do you expect for free, right? Damn, that's looking great. Oh, that's looking great. I just wish I could make these bad boys gold. Wouldn't that be nice? Hmm. No. There's no way. There is no way. That would never work. That would just never work, right? Hmm. All right, space cadets. Moment of truth. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but it's definitely going to make it look better. Uh, eh, uh, hmm. Well, uh, hmm. Damn. I don't know. It's not matching with the other, well, except for that angle, but it's not matching with the other gold. It looks very mismatched. I mean, it's, an, it's a good concept. Let me go ahead and keep going just for concept. How many parts? 156 parts so far. Hmm, wow. You know, I just thought of something. Maybe the landing gears won't even go down all the way because it sees the flag as in the way. That is a possibility. All right, let's uh, load this thing up and see what happens. I mean, from far away, it actually looks kind of nice. From far away, it looks really nice. <laughs> from far away, it looks really nice until you zoom in and realize that the that they, they're kind of different. All right, I see that this is... But the landing gear is, um, because of the gravity of Kerbin is going down, and so it's kind of pushing the flags, I think. Because the flags don't bounce up and down. Look, oh yeah, I can see the weight on them right now. You know, this could work. This could definitely work, but I'm going to need to make these darker. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to need to take some pictures here real quick. Okay, F1, take a picture. And now I'm going to go back and put that in our flags. Oh, whoa, it changed them automatically. Nice. I didn't have to do any work. And they kind of are the same color. Okay. <laughs> um, however, I will uh, turn some of these around. Okay, there we go. I was thinking I was going to have to, you know, that they would be all whited out or something or, or grayed out or something. Ooh, wow, that looks so nice. Look at that. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks nice. See, the nice thing about this is it doesn't need to be covering every inch of the lander just needs to be covering the important bits and pretty much the imagination and mind sees it and it takes care of the rest now of course you zoom in you know it'd be like oh my goodness it's not covering anything well you know it's, it's not ksp it's, uh, it's not gonna be perfect and save i'll be doggone look at that <laughs> i mean like i said it's not perfect but damn it does look kind of nice i think uh i think i'll put one more down here 
A few more decals and this thing will be ready to go. Now I do know that the little box thing that's on the side of the craft, uh, well technically it, this part was never here. I think it's, it looked like something else completely different. That's like, this is the only bulging part I could find that, that came out of the side of the lander. But for KSP and its uh, stability purposes, we put one on the other side as well. Yeah, about that. Let me squeeze this in just a little bit. Hmm. Dang it. I mean, I really even haven't tested the whole separation bit. It, it could just blow up spectacularly. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the pictures now, and what I'm seeing is that some spots had all gold, while other spots had the black tarp over it. So confused. I don't see this working. <laughs> to make it look good right <laughs> look at that oh my gosh that is perfect who knew flags could be so cool <laughs> okay that's adorable I'm uh, I'm ear to ear with a smile that was pretty cute for a game based on explosions that was pretty cute all right I see so you need to really, like completely have nothing in your inventory whatsoever which is a little strange. That's interesting, you can interact with them and yeah, you get like different animations and stuff. We're gonna fix this part real quick and slap some American flags. America. Oh no. That was just enough mass to sort of throw it off a little bit. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. New plan. New plan. New plan. New plan. New mother effing plan. Yeah. Make sure it's middleized. There we go. Don't want it too far in. I'll still sort of, I'll still sort of be able to click it, click it if I want to without having to zoom into the spacecraft, right? Okay, so let's look at our, uh, hold on, we gotta put tools in there, right? Okay, there's a bunch of tools in there, and then call it a craft. <laughs> it actually looks really cool already, I mean, I don't even have the freaking flag on it yet. The freaking flag. Okay, so that's hinges. Okay, cool. I don't think I need anything else, really. Gears, gears. Uh, let me see. Look at that. Guys, look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I am geeking out right now. Why am I whispering? That's so fucking cool. Alright, let me, let me just check everything. Check the pictures, make sure I'm not missing anything. Looking through my pictures. Well now. <laughs> uh, let's test it out and then call it a video. Damn, that looks so good. And then set to orbit. Here we go.
Well, it's uh, very similar to how much fuel they had left when they landed. Like, well, would they have like 12 seconds left of fuel? But damn, damn, damn. I remember when the moon used to have nice flat surfaces. Okay, so by the power of editing, I went ahead and placed it in a nice flat spot so we can end this video. What kind of horse crap is this? Great, now the flags are bugged. Good old broken case B. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am all out of time, I gotta get going. But uh, we will revisit this and keep on building it until we have the entire thing, the entire Saturn V and Apollo and all this other good stuff. And then we'll probably launch it in a live stream. That's going to be great. <laughs> Considering this thing has barely enough fuel to land. Okay, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.